It's Janet. I'm a youth services librarian at the Wilmette Public Library. Welcome to We're Gonna Make It. Simple crafts for complicated times. The other day, a mirror broke in my house. It was in my attic. I don't even know how it broke. But I thought to myself, oh no, I'm going to have seven years of bad luck now. I already feel like we have all had seven years of bad luck in the last 14 months. Sickness, death, school closures, work closures, isolation, masks, virtual everything, police shootings, civil unrest, mass shootings, a disputed election, political violence, forest fires, murder hornets, does anyone even remember the murder hornets? You know things are bad when people forget about murder hornets. So, I've had enough of bad luck and misfortune. I decided to do something new with the pieces of my broken mirror. I decided to make a mosaic. A mosaic is a group of small elements put together to make a new whole. It's small pieces assembled to make a new design. There are many, many ways to make a mosaic. You can use cut up squares of construction paper. You can use seeds or pasta, or you can just go out and buy some tiny tiles and assemble them. You can also use broken pieces. You can put them together to make something new and intentional and maybe even beautiful. Here's how I made a mosaic using common household items. I decided to put my mosaic together in a small box. Here's my test mosaic. First, I cut out a piece of paper that's just a little bit smaller than the box. I drew an outline of my design on the paper. I decided on an homage to the purple cone flower. I recently discovered that the purple cone flower blooms best after a wildfire. I like that it's a symbol of growth after tragedy. Plus, I like that the purple cone flower is also known as echinacea, which makes you feel better when you're sick. So um, I now am going to use some craft glue to stick the paper in my box. There we go. I've gathered some pieces here. I've got my shards of glass. I also have um, bits of broken necklaces, beads from broken necklaces, Google eyes that I found under my couch, sequins, what else is in here? Oh, there's um, some buttons and some pieces of a broken piggy bank. A word of warning before you get started. If you've got sharp pieces like these mirror shards, make sure that you have some gloves on hand. I've got garden gloves here and I've also got some tweezers to pick up small or sharp pieces. So I'm thinking a little bit about what my design is going to look like. And now I am going to start gluing it down. I'll use some craft glue. Hmm, and I think I'll put my gloves on because I don't want to get cut by the glass here. Now, this is just a small decorative 
mosaic. So craft glue is just fine. But if you're making a bigger mosaic or a more functional mosaic, you might want to use grout. That way the surface of the mosaic will be smooth. Here is my mosaic in progress. Slowly, all those broken pieces are coming together to make the image that I had in mind. It's like they're not even broken anymore. They've formed something new. It's definitely not perfect, but it's the way I want it to be. You break a mirror. You have bad luck, but you move on. You learn something and you make something new. When you make something new, you can make it better than what you had before. And you can make it the way you want it to be. So think about what you want your post-pandemic world to look like. How can you change your family, your block, your neighborhood, your school, your city, your state, your country? How can we put together the broken pieces in a way that is healthy, fair, and beautiful. While you're thinking about it, make a mosaic. And that's how we're gonna make it.